Because I know, like, even to I, I feel like even after we won the championship, we you know nobody still they was like oh they got lucky you know what I'm saying because a lot of us were out we found a way and they were like you know I I just still feel like we didn't have the respect even after we won the championship that's just how I felt like I think the whole year they were like Connecticut like everybody was looking at us like Connecticut you got we're playing Connecticut like and then we started really just setting our mark and the only people that believed is us in our state. Like, that was it, for real. So going in that game, I was like, oh, gosh, Tennessee had been in this situation before. They won championships. This, this is Pat Summon, rest in peace, and we're going to get screwed or something. Something's going to happen, but they're not going to let us win this game. That's how I felt. Like, I was like, oh, boy, here we go. You can see why, you can see why people were still choosing Tennessee, right? They, I mean, it was a storied program. The history that they had. Exactly. Right. Those were the teams that were supposed to win, like yeah. Tennessee, North Carolina, Stanford, like we not Connecticut. Like Connecticut's still undefeated year, right? Like I just felt like we didn't didn't have respect the whole year. Until they they stretched on our side of the court. Then oh, I, I was, was gonna oh, say that. Got mad. What happened? Tell me you what happened. That? They didn't Tell respect us. They like came on our side of the court, started <laughs> stretching like they like we, walked through our stretching circle or like totally disrespecting us from the beginning. <laughs> and you guys let them do that? Oh, come on. Come on. You know we got Jamel no. and Jim, they right? Came out, they came out and they were stretching around the center circle. So we came out to warm up and they were on, like half of their team was on ha our half of the court and I told them to get off and they just looked up at me because no one probably ever, ever challenged them before. And I walked over to the scorer's table and said, get them off our side of the court. And they did. <laughs> they made them move their stretching circle. We did not let them do anything. Trust me. We were not having it. So then the foul, the foul situation comes up and we got guys on the bench. with Who had three fouls in the first half? Raise your hand. Jen. Kara. Kara. Kara doesn't remember. Kara had like four. Kara's <laughs> worried. Her hand is probably orange. <laughs> I know I had three. You had three in the first half. So we had one, two, three. We have four guys <laughs> with three fouls in the first half. And we went in at halftime, down six. And I remember walking in and I looking at you guys and the look on your face was like, um, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell whether you were mad, disappointed, pissed, angry. I couldn't tell anything. There was like, this blank look on your faces for like one of the first times. And uh, I, I got, I got a little bit worried. So I tried to be like really calm, like we're, we're going to win. And I'm thinking, no, maybe I don't know if we are. <laughs> and, and, and I remember saying as bad as we played, we're only down six with all these guys on the bench. Hell, they ain't that good. And we go out and I said, yo, we're two possessions away from taking a lead. Don't worry about it. We go out the first pass, They get a three. Now we're down nine. I'm like, damn. <laughs> and then it just got crazy after that. What do you remember about the second half? When you say second half Tennessee, what's the first thing that comes to your mind, Javel? Thank God these guys are back in the game and I can go back and reach down to the set screen. <laughs> Keish, what did you do when I said, Keish, you got to play point guard? What? <laughs> I was like, I said to myself, you know I don't have a left hand, right? <laughs> uh, I was like, point guard? I don't have to play the post. <laughs> But I did, uh, I remember, I said the same thing as Jamal. I was like, thank God they are back. And they didn't miss a beat. Like, they came in like, yes, I find. It was like, tag me in. We was like, bitch. Right. <laughs> yeah, but you you guys carried us. I I remember the first half. Like, thank God for Jamel, Nikisha, and Carla. They literally kept us within striking distance. I remember that specifically. I remember not being able to wait for the second half to start. And then I remember Rebecca like going to work. Yeah, in Rebecca. The second half. Like she she earned her. Not that she hadn't already, but her player of the year status rose even higher because she just made sure she just made sure we weren't going to lose.